very time. Please take a moment to silence all electronic devices. And let's stand and take a moment to greet one another. How do you do? Yeah. All of the rings for this Mass can be found on page 1198 in your hymnal. And the music and readings can be found in this week's worship aid. Feel free to follow along on your phone or device if you'd like on the OSM Parish app or click the Sunday Worship Aid link on the front page of our parish website, oldstmarys.com. Our gathering song is number 726, Lift Every Voice and Sing. Number 726, we will be singing verses 1 and 3. Lift every voice and sing Till earth and heaven ring Ring with the harmonies of liberty Let our rejoicing has taught us sing a song full of the hope that the present has brought us facing the rising sun of a new day begun let us march on till victory is won Welcome to Old St. Mary's. It's great to see you as we celebrate a very warm congregational gathering around the altar. And as we gather around the altar, we recall that we are each very special to the Lord. Each one of us is a temple of the Holy Spirit. And we live and we show that light to people. And sometimes we don't. And so we recall our need for forgiveness. Lord Jesus, you are the way, the truth, and the life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you came to show us the way to the kingdom. Christ have mercy, Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the path and you are the guide. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. God. 
God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O oh God Almighty. Almighty and ever-living God, who govern all things both in heaven and on earth, mercifully hear the pleading of your people and bestow your peace on our times through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. I'd like to invite forward now children for the Liturgy of the Word. Uh, we're thinking maybe preschool through second grade. Do you have any children that would like to come forward? Sheila will be leading you. Oh, great. We got some young people coming forward. Here we go. Come on, come on. Yeah, come on, you're welcome too. Let's raise our hands over our children. Thank, for Lord. Thank you, Lord, for this new young life, these young people among us. We ask that you will touch their hearts in the liturgy of the word. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. <laughs> Our reading from the first book of Samuel. Samuel was sleeping in the temple of the Lord, where the ark of God was. The Lord called to Samuel, who answered, Here I am. Samuel ran to Eli and said, Here I am. You called me. I did not call you. Eli said, Go back to sleep. So he went back to sleep. Again, the Lord called Samuel who rose and went to Eli. Here I am, 
He said, You called me. But Eli answered, I did not call you my son. Go back to sleep. At that time, Samuel was not familiar with the Lord, because the Lord had not revealed anything to him as yet. The Lord called Samuel again for the third time. Getting up and going to Eli, he said, Here I am. You called me. Then Eli understood that the Lord was calling the youth. So he said to Samuel, Go to sleep, and if you are called, reply. Speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. Then Samuel went to sleep in his place. The Lord came and revealed his presence, calling out as before, Samuel, Samuel. Samuel answered, Speak, for your servant is listening. Samuel grew up, and the Lord was with him, not permitting any word of his to be without effect. The word of the Lord.
A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, the body is not for immorality, but for the Lord. And for the Lord is for the body. God raised the Lord and will also raise us by his power. Do you not know that your bodies are members of Christ? But whoever is joined to the Lord becomes one spirit with him. Avoid immorality. Every other sin a person commits is outside the body. But the immoral person sins against his own body. Do you not know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit within you, whom you have from God, and that you are not your own? For you have been purchased at a price. Therefore, glorify God in your body. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. John the Baptist was standing with two of his disciples, and as he watched Jesus walk by, he said, Behold, the Lamb of God. The two disciples heard what John said and followed Jesus. Jesus turned and saw them following him and said to them, What are you looking for? They said to him, Rabbi, which translated means teacher, where are you staying? Jesus said to them, come and you will see. So they went and saw where Jesus was staying, and they stayed with him that day. It was about four in the afternoon. Andrew, the brother of Simon Peter, was one of the two who heard John and followed Jesus. He first found his own brother Simon and told him, we have found the Messiah, which is translated Christ. Then he brought him to Jesus. Jesus looked at him and said, you are Simon, the son of John. You will be called Cephas, which is translated Peter. The Gospel of the Lord. Fewer and fewer people these days uh, remember when a single wall-mounted phone was a home's only means of communicating with the outside world. <clears throat> and fewer still uh, remember the days when you picked up the receiver and a real live operator asked you which number you wanted to reach. Or remember what was called a party line, a line you shared with one or more of your neighbors. The first cellular phone that I remember using was nicknamed the Brick. It was so bulky that it was carried in a case that you might sling over your shoulder or carry in a briefcase. Today, most of us, even many school kids, carry a smartphone that 
with communication capabilities that were unimagined 20 years ago. How personal communication has changed, and mealtime table manners as well. And it begs the question, how does God communicate with us? The Bible says there were times when God spoke through the prophets and through angels. At other times, God spoke through dreams. Having just concluded the Christmas season, the dream messages to Joseph are fresh in our mind. After he discovered Mary, his betrothed, was expecting, an angel messenger encouraged him to fear not, to accept Mary into his home. And again, to protect the child Jesus, Joseph was told by an angel to seek refuge in another country. Today, our first scripture reading shares with us a dream that the boy Samuel experienced and how, after some time, Samuel discerned that it was God who was calling to him. Our gospel lesson records the moment when John the Baptist saw Jesus coming toward him and announced, Behold, the Lamb of God. And two of his disciples standing there listening, well, they followed Jesus. But first, Andrew went to found his, find his brother Simon. And then, with two others, they became the first disciples of Jesus. So how does God communicate with us? And when God calls, how do we recognize God's voice? What do we say? How do we respond? From two very different times and circumstances, two of today's scripture readings share two common themes. The first, we recognize God's voice when our lives are in a place where we can hear and receive God's message. When we are open and listening. Samuel was in such a place in his young life when he was ministering to the Lord in the temple. Andrew, his friend, and Simon were searching for meaning, believing that God was active and present in their lives and in the lives of the world. Though separated by more than a thousand years, these common people heard an uncommon, compelling voice of presence, of feeling, and urge, and responded to it in simple faith. There's a second thing going on in both of these scripture stories. Samuel had Eli, Andrew had his friend, Andrew and his friend had John the Baptist, and Simon had his brother Andrew. Other people were God's partners in calling them to step into God's will and God's way for them. So what good word might God be wanting to speak to us? And are we open to hearing God's word. And who are those <clears throat> around us whom we trust, whom we share life experience with, through whom God might be to us? When difficulty shows up on our calendars, who are the people around us who love us unconditionally, pray for us, encourage us, stand with us? Could it be that God is calling us through those very human beings, those caring and loving people? I think what today's lessons reveal to us is that God uses places and people, circumstances, and most of all, the deep longing of our own hearts to speak to us, calling us to follow the one who is life and joy and love and peace. Can we be quiet and listen? Let us take a moment to pray. 
From our earliest days, O God, you call to us by name. Quiet our hearts so that we may hear you. Remove distractions that would keep us from being open, humble, and attentive to what your Spirit might wish to impress upon our hearts and our minds. Help us to be the voice of your attentiveness, compassion, understanding, and acceptance in the lives of others. Lord, your servants are listening. Amen. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Summoned by the Lord Jesus to follow in his footsteps, we now pray for those in need of comfort, healing, and peace. May church and the world leaders strive to break down the barriers that divide and work tirelessly to bring relief to the poor. We pray. Lord, hear our prayers. For an end to the wars in Ukraine and the Middle East and the world at peace, we pray. Lord, hear our prayers. Grant wisdom and right judgment to all who hold public office and fill their hearts with understanding and compassion for those they serve, we pray. Lord, hear our prayers. You grace Dr. Martin Luther King, Jr., with courage and a commitment to nonviolence. Guide and strengthen all those who continue the struggle for equality, justice, and fairness, we pray. Lord, hear our prayers that refugees, migrants, and dispossessed, and all who search for a place to call home will receive a new birth in freedom and opportunity. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who work to preserve the dignity of all human life, we pray. Lord, hear our prayers. May the sick know recovery from illness and relief from pain. We pray. Lord, hear our prayers. But all who have died, especially Jaime Imbag and Jaime Basurdo, may they rest forever in the eternal happiness of heaven. We pray. Lord, hear our prayers. For the intentions we hold in silence. We pray. Lord, hear our prayers. Listen to the prayers of your people, O God of goodness. May those who seek justice and healing be led to your Son, Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, who is Lord forever and ever. Amen.
As always, we thank you for your financial support of the ministries of Old St. Mary's. You who are joining from home may mail your check to us, to the contributions to the parish office, or donate online by clicking the Give button on the parish website, which is oldstmary's.com. Thank you. Our presentation of Gifts Hymn is number 869, Here I Am, Lord, number 869. By the Lord of sea and sky, I have heard my people cry, all who dwell in dark and sin, my hand will save. I who made the stars of night, I will make sisters and brothers, that this sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the grace and the glory of for our good and the Accept our offerings, O Lord, we pray, and in sanctifying them, grant that they may profit us for salvation through your beloved Son. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. He is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God. 
For you laid the foundation of the world and have arranged the changing of times and seasons. You formed us in your own image and set us over the whole world in all its wonder. You rule over the name, to rule over and name over all that you have made and forever to praise you in your mighty works. And so with the angels, we praise you in joyful celebration as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna. are holy, and to be glorified, O God, who love the human race, who always walk with us on the journey of faith. Blessed indeed is your Son, present in our midst, when we are gathered by his love, and when as once for the disciples, and so now for us, he opens up the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father most merciful, we ask that you send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, on the night of his last supper, he took bread and said the blessing. He broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, and said, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and gave you thanks. He gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant. It will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Savior, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again, and we offer you the bread of life, the chalice of blessing. Look with favor on the oblation of your church in which we show forth the living sacrifice of praise that Christ has handed on to us and grant that by the power of the spirit of your love, we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion. Bring your church, O Lord, to perfect faith and charity, together with Francis our Pope, Blaise our Bishop, all the bishops, priests and deacons, and the entire people that you have made your own. Open our eyes to the needs of our brothers and sisters. Inspire us in words and actions to comfort those who labor and are burdened. Make us serve them freely after the example of Christ and his command. And may may your church stand as a living witness to truth and freedom, to peace and justice, and that all people may be raised up to a new hope. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the in in the peace of Christ and all the dead whose faith you alone have known 
Admit them to rejoice in the light of your faith and in the resurrection give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us when our earthly pilgrimage is done that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever. And there in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Joseph, her spouse, the apostles and martyrs, and all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you through Jesus, your Son. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Jesus taught us to call God our Father, and so we pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy we may be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope of the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give to you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer one another a sign of Christ's peace. Behold the Lamb of God, the one who takes away the sin of the world. Happy are we who are called to this supper.
daybreak it is the body of Christ thank you for this cup we take your blood shed for us let us feast on the bread of life and drink from the cup of salvation until he comes until he comes again feed us Lord
Let us pray. Grant, we pray, almighty God, that receiving the grace by which you bring us to a new life, we may always glory in your gift. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for some announcements. Uh, thank you all to uh, joining in prayer and worship today. It makes it a warmer day, which, which is, uh, how should I say it? It's very brave to come out on a day like this. So welcome and thank you all for being here personally and virtually with us today. Uh, please take a copy and read a copy of today's bulletin. The information is also available on the parish website and is on the OSM parish app as well. Note the information about Old St. Mary's Parish Eucharistic Revival Sessions that begin later this month as part of the two-year revival of the Eucharist program. Please note the information about the Parish Town Hall that's meeting on Monday, January, January 22nd at 6 p.m. It's a way to be more involved in the parish and to discover what all activities the parish has and what are the goals and motivations of the parish. Our Just One Item collection is next weekend. When shopping this week, please consider purchasing something extra for our neighbors at St. James. Just one item, it can be a bar of soap, a, royal, a roll of toilet paper, a tube of toothpaste, a container of deodorant, and so forth. Place all the items in the baskets of the commons when you come to Mass next Sunday, or bring it to the parish office during the week. We thank you for that. And next Sunday, following the 11 a.m. Mass, our parish school is hosting a Nights Around the World event showcasing the diversity of the school's student body. All are invited to come taste exotic foods and enjoy cultural performances. All this will take place in the Parish Center Gym. Please plan to join us next Sunday after the 11 a.m. Mass. Are there any visitors or newcomers among us? Would you please stand so we can welcome you? Any newcomers or visitors? Okay. <laughs> Welcome to you, and uh, invite you to come outside and have something to, to uh, eat, have a little bit to drink, stand and talk. It's a great way to get to know our fellow parishioners. Let us stand for God's blessing. The Lord be with you. May the blessing of Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit come upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Let us go forth in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Our recessional hymn is number 702, Praise to You, O Christ our Savior, number 702. The world 
who calls us to be servants. You are the word whose only law is love. You are the word made flesh who lives among us. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Praise to you.